So what are you currently doing in real estate now? Or a lot of multifamily, some land development and some new builds. So I've got a lot going on in Cape Coral, Florida right now. I'm building eight houses and we do a lot of build to rent down there. I'm building a 44 unit class A new construction on, I bought a piece of land, about 1800 linear feet of salt water frontage that we're building a 44 unit on with a restaurant and a boat, uh, I think 24 boat docks and all kinds of crazy stuff. That one's a new development. And then I'm putting like, I, I, I love the Florida real estate market. And so I moved my companies into the Jacksonville area about a year ago. And I'm putting together a small little portfolio here in Jacksonville. Anywhere I go, I'm always just trying to find where those market opportunities are. And I buy lots of real estate in my backyard. And then I do a lot of speculative investing. And so right now in the multifamily space, there's a lot of blood in the street. There's a lot of people that were jumping in too soon. They didn't have a lot of education. They didn't really know what they were doing and they got over their skis a little bit. So I'm finding a lot of good real estate deals in the multifamily space right now where maybe they are two or three years into that project, but they're out of cash. They don't have the liquidity to now go get the, the long-term financing on that deal. They have a bridge loan that's expiring and they've got all these extensions and then they're kind of done. And so we've been picking up some pretty distressed deals in the multifamily space, but that's pretty much where I'm at right now. There's we still, as a, as a market, we're still completely underbuilt in the United States. There's only two, two and a half months worth of real estate on the, on the market right now. A robust marketplace has six months worth of real estate on the market. And, and then all of these big, the top six home builders in America are pretty much building just off of deposits. So they're not building a ton of spec houses right now. And they're, you got to put a deposit down and they'll start your build. Yep. And so with that being said, we're just, just, we're not keeping up with housing demand. So because of that, I think that land development and new construction is gonna, I think the market will turn and I think that's prime. And I think that because there's such a lack of housing, so many people are being, even though they may not want to, are being forced into, into multifamily. So those are the two areas that I'm playing. Love it, man. So, so with 4,000 doors, right? I'm, I'm assuming that you have doors all across the country. Do you focus on a particular MSA? Is it all Southeast? Is it Southwest? Um, yeah. Is it Northwest? What What is your particular uh, territory? Because I've been investing for so long, I ha kind of have them everywhere. And it's more about like what I'm currently buying versus what I bought 10 years ago. It's like, well, I bought in Austin, Texas 10 years ago. I probably wouldn't buy in Austin, Texas today, even though there's a ton of growth and opportunity there. But I, I bought a lot in California 10, 12 years ago. You know, I have an apartment complex in Escondido, California. I probably wouldn't touch Escondido today, right? Like I mm -hmm. just, I, I, I invest where they're landlord friendly, where I don't feel like they're politically motivated to make me suffer as an investor. And there's a lot of marketplaces where they're politically motivated to make you suffer. Like they don't, they don't like their pockets in New York. It's like, they, they don't want your investment dollar. They're, they're trying to legislate you not being able to make money as an investor. It's like, well, why even try to go there? You know, like I'll just go where they want my, my money. So, so I do a lot in South Carolina, North Carolina, Georgia, Florida, Texas, a little bit in Alabama. I have invested in Arizona. Arizona is a tough one because there's so many opportunities out there, but there are also so many investors and you guys got all that money coming from California and coming from, you know, all these different places. And it's like, you guys have had such a robust marketplace forever. A guy that's living over in Florida I always feel like I don't know the market as well as somebody there is going to know the market. So the only investment deals I've done in Arizona are with typically people that are in Arizona doing a deal that I feel like know the market, know where the market's shifting to. 